Hello everyone, welcome to DA College video. My name is Yalda. Um, today I want to teach you some interesting vocabularies and expressions, but I want to teach you these expressions and vocabulary through reading. One way of learning vocabulary is contextual guessing. What does it mean? It means you read something and by just like reading and understanding, you know, just like the main idea of the reading, you can guess the meaning of the word, that specific word. Now, today you're learning some vocabularies through reading. Um, look at the topic is busy disease. What's the meaning of disease? Disease, it means, just like when you go through the meaning, it means not at ease. It means when, whenever you're too busy, it means you work too hard, so you don't have enough time to enjoy your time or just like do something that you enjoy, right? Because you're too busy and you're working too hard. Now, here in this reading, you will see some signs that shows you're too busy and it will teach you what to do to prevent it, okay? Um, okay, I'm reading the first paragraph. Number one, you have too many projects on the go, okay? It means whenever you're too busy, maybe it's because you have too many projects that you have to work on it, right? So you have too many projects on the go. On the go means in progress. It means there's something that you are working on right now. Okay, so what do you have to do? People who say they are too busy often have poor time management. Time management, it means just like using your time. So you have the ability to use your time efficiently, right? Um, so if you don't have this ability, so you have too many things and you cannot schedule it proper, uh, actually properly. Or maybe you don't have the priority, which one you have to do first, which one second. So that's why you're too busy and you don't know what to do, right? So it will be very unorganized. What you can do, uh, if you want to start a new project, right? Whenever they're offering you to do a new project, so you have to say, uh, I don't have time right now. Finish the old one first, right? And then go on and do the rest, okay? And accept new projects. Second one, you work too many hours, too many hours, okay? In addition to working too long, it means, so just like probably your working hours, they're too long, right? So you start too early and finish too late. Workaholics, workaholics, there are some people who are addicted to working, okay? So they like working. So if they don't work, they think, so for example, their life is not complete, right? So they don't know what to do with their time. Workaholics often commute too far. It means workaholics, people who are addicted to work too much, right? So they are not only they're working too long, right? The hours are too long. They have to commute too far. Commute means just traveling regularly to work and coming back by car or by public transportation. So often commute too far, right? So if you work fewer hours, right, maybe seven or eight hours a day and work closer to home, you will have more time to do what you love, right? So you can enjoy what you actually just like, you, uh, whatever you want to do, right? So the other thing, not just working, because you have some, you know, just like extra time that you can spend on, for example, exercising, watching TV or whatever you enjoy doing. Okay, next one, you don't sleep enough. If you don't sleep enough, so you'll be too tired, okay? And so you cannot focus. So sleep is the first thing to go. When a person feels overwhelmed, 
with commitments. Overwhelm it means you have too much to do, but you feel you don't have enough time to finish it. Then you feel overwhelmed, right? With commitments. Commitments is a promise or a plan to do something or get something done. So you feel overwhelmed because you think you have too many things to do, but you don't have enough time to finish and just do your commitments. If you sleep too little, your life will likely be shorter. So get enough sleep, then your brain works better and you feel healthier. You forget too often. Okay, people who feel overwhelmed often complain of memory lapses. Memory lapses, it means, actually memory lapse is a period of time that you forget things right at that time so you don't remember about the things that you need to do or if someone tells you to do something you just forget it so we call it memory lapse if you need to focus slow down okay slow down then focus and then you can concentrate on what you have to do right so slow down next you're too competitive it means you have a strong drive and desire to win and be better than the others. It's good sometimes, but it can be bad at the same time, right? So because, so all the time you feel lots of pressure on yourself. So you are too competitive with your peers. It means with your colleagues, for example, okay? Set the pace for your own life so that you feel in control. So go with your own pace, plan and just like be organized. Then so just like pace your life, okay? Pace your own life and then go with your own pace and then you feel, you don't feel too much pressure on yourself, okay? Unplug, it means become disconnected from all electronic devices, like your phone, your laptop, your iPad, okay? So thanks to mobile devices, you are connected to work 24 seven. What does it mean 24 seven? It means 24 hours, seven days a week. It means all the time. If you're glued to your phone, it means just like stick to your phone, glued to your phone after hours, after working hours, live it in a basket at your front door and don't bring it with you at home. Okay, so just leave it there and don't touch it. Whenever you're at home, it's time to relax, okay? And just uh, whenever you rest and you relax, then you can think better, of course. So unplug from all your devices, okay? The other one, you cancel plans too often which is not really good. Many people who are too busy cancel plans at the last minute. It means before something starts or before the deadline, they just cancel it because they think they're not ready to do it or they don't have enough time to do it. So they just cancel it. If you know you likely cancel, just say no before you commit. Okay, and promise that you're doing it, just say no and stop it. The other thing that you can do, can you think of something else to just relax and then you can focus on what you're doing? I think the other things are just like exercising, right? Just two or three days a week, do something to refresh, right? Some just, for example, running, going to the gym, do yoga, whatever you think you're more comfortable doing, just do it. Do more exercise. The other thing that I think is just eat healthy food, okay? Just stay away from junk food. Just eat more vegetables and fruit and healthier food, and then it can just boost your energy, okay? And just your body is healthier, then you can think better, and you can focus more. Thank you for watching this. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, DEA Canadian College, and so you will just, uh, you can see 
all the videos that we uploaded there and so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you again and see you in the next lesson.